It's September 16th and you're watching GameSpot News. I'm Chris Waters here to kick off another week of guest hosting your daily news digest. And today I'm going to try my darndest to not make all the stories about GTA 5. Let's see how that works out. The latest entry in Rockstar's venerable open world series Grand Theft Auto V is launching imminently and the reviews are in. Surprising approximately nobody, the critics really, really like it. According to Metacritic.com, GTA V reviews are currently averaging in the high 90s. Still employed GameSpot reviewer Carolyn Pettit rated the game a 9 out of 10, praising the vast world and exhilarating missions while criticizing the inconsistent narrative and pervasive misogyny. Be sure to check out the video review just as soon as we're done here. If you're looking forward to playing GTA 5 yourself on your Xbox 360, Rockstar Games has a word of caution for you. Speaking up via Twitter, the developers recommended that in order to get optimal performance, you should only install the data from the disc marked Install. The other disc, the one marked Play, is not meant to be installed. Huh. Imagine that. That disc is content to simply spin in the tray and let you indulge your inner maniac in the sprawling world of Los Santos. But enough about GTA 5, let's talk about GTA 5. An analyst said that sales are predict- I'm just kidding, we're gonna talk about Battlefield 4. Though DICE's military shooter doesn't release until October 29th, players will be able to get a crack at it during an open beta that will start on October 1st. Yes, the October 1st beta will be open as opposed to the exclusive beta that will admit only folks with pre-ordered copies of the game, Battlefield 3 Premium members, and those with codes from Medal of Honor Warfighter. No word yet on when the exclusive bit will be materializing, but the open beta will feature conquest mode on the Siege of Shanghai map. Continuing the blockbuster franchise newsreel, some Bioware employees have been talking about the next Mass Effect game. Executive producer Casey Hudson tweeted recently, In a milestone review for the next Mass Effect game, team is doing outstanding work, looks beautiful, fun, ambitious, and Mass Effect-y. Announced last September, the game will not feature Commander Shepard, will run on the Frostbite 3 engine, and will probably not be shown publicly for quite some time. And finally, mentioned for perhaps the first and probably the last time in the same breath as Grand Theft Auto, Battlefield, and Mass Effect, it's Mutant League Football. The creator of EA's goofy, violent take on America's favorite sport has launched a Kickstarter to bring back the gloriously gory franchise from the early 90s. It's going to be a few more years before the NFL starts breeding their own mutants, so this may be your best bet to see decapitations on the gridiron. Although arguably the NFL has already started breeding their own mutants because have you seen some of those players, my god. That's all the news for today, so let us know what you think in the comments below or chime in via Twitter using the hashtag GSNews. I'm going to try not to flood that hashtag with nostalgic memories of Mutant League football, but I make no promises. Do us a YouTube kindness on the way out, will ya? And hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.